Hi everyone and welcome to a tier list of the new Total Drama cast. I'm not a real voice, I'm a robot, bop beat bop. So before we begin let's start with how I will rank these, I will judge them by the design, storyline potential and personality vibe of the contestants. I will grade them from F to S based on a point system from 0 to 30. Everyone in the same tier are the same rank so it doesn't matter if I put someone behind or in front of someone. With that said let's begin. First up I have this guy, Ripper. I do not really like his design at all, he reminds me of Chet who I also did not like so much. His hair is knotted and I do not like the white lines on his shirt. He looks very uninteresting although I do think he will have the weird teenage guy personality which might make him likable or super weird. Next we have these two, Chase and Z who I also dislike. For Z, I think this design is very basic, his clothes are plain and boring but have some cool colors individually, but together they just make him look like a tropical popsicle. His neck is very weird and it looks like he was designed to be the first boot. The only things that is unique about him is that he has a cap, which is not special this season because three others share the same trait as him. And for Chase. I don't know why but I feel like I will be very annoyed by him. He looks like he will be a nice person but I also feel like he will be like a Cody 2.0 except for the pervy parts combined with a Devon. Like, imagine the guy who says woohoo the whole time. All I'm saying is that I think he will be too positive that it's too hard to handle. Also just like Z, his outfit makes him look like a tropical popsicle. Now let's move on to someone that I actually like, up next is Miss Millie. She feels like she will be a blabber just like Stacy and Sugar. I have a feeling I will love her a lot while others will find her very annoying. I also do feel like she will be a little mean just like Sugar but without being gross. I hope she makes it far to the top 5, I can see a lot of drama being started by her, I'm just excited to see her. Design wise, her outfit looks great, love the cropped jacket with the red shirt inside, also love her hair. Next up I have two contestants I have some storyline predictions about, first Julia and then Nichelle. Julia, feels like design-wise she has the blandest and most boring design out of all females. Her silhouette is almost identical to Nichelle and her hair is exactly the same as MK's. It feels like they just borrowed everything from others to create Julia so there is nothing unique about her. Although she is pretty, she is basic and boring so I can't place her any higher. For Nichelle, as I said, she and Julia look very similar but at least Nichelle looks unique with her hair. I do think she is a duo with Julia, but as the mean girls and hopefully are one of the villains of the season. For example, I think she might be the reason for breaking up the Wayne and Raj duo by getting closer to Raj. I think she will make it very far but just stumble right before the finale. The next I'm gonna talk about are Wayne and Raj who I will count as a pair feels like they will be a very great duo with fun personalities. It feels like they will be a close pair like Katie and Sadie. However, it feels like they can still be independent without each other and not be stuck with each other 24-7. Hopefully one of them will go home early, and the other one can stay for a while and be impactful and independent, unlike Sadie. I am afraid that with 16 contestants and 13 episodes, they will be a victim of double elimination which I hope won't happen because it would be so predictable. Another one I really like is Axel. Really love the outfit, love that it looks tough and strong without making her look mean. Axel reminds me very much of a combined version of Eva and Courtney. Axel will probably be a team captain and a challenge beast which I appreciate because other than her and Caleb, it doesn't really look like anyone else is strong. I do feel like she will sadly be an early boot with a dumb reason, looking at her team it looks like the writers are giving her a TDI Lashana treatment. Next up I have two people that I'm very unsure of, so I have to put them here as for now but it might change after the show. With Caleb I really love his design, love that they used pink on such a masculine male design. 
Despite liking his design, I do feel like he will be portrayed as a douche or jerk. Will be interesting to see his interaction with Bowie, hopefully, he won't be portrayed as being weirded out by Bowie but I do feel like that will happen, and he gets a redemption arc right before getting eliminated. He will either be a smart hottie like Alejandro, or an early boot hottie like Justin in TDI, and no in-between. With Bowie I'm very unsure of because he will be one of the confirmed LGBTQ plus contestants which I am all here for, but the writers here have a lot of responsibility. As this season is more aimed toward kids the writers have to make sure that Bowie will be a good representation of the LGBTQ plus community. So I hope the creators won't stereotype him for example making him a Yas Queen, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Kling Kling, Yas Queen type of person. So I can't really judge him before I get to see him, but I do have my hopes up but still I'm a little bit scared. Next up are probably the nicest people on the cast. First I have Emma, not the one from TDRR. I'm gonna put her here in A, then we have Priya who I really love, that's why she is on the thumbnail. First of all I really like Emma's design a lot, even if it's nothing special. Her overall vibe just screams out good, she will probably be the nicest in the cast. Hopefully she isn't just nice but much more than that. I'm excited to watch her and she will probably be one of the contestants many people will root for. Priya feels very innocent and always on the right side. I feel like she will be the brains of her team and not talk much but say the smartest thing and will make them win here and there. I mostly ranked her here because I just think her design is so cute and the blue just fit her. Also another Indian representative which is awesome. Hopefully the writers won't make her boring. MK is probably the most interesting person on the cast, that's why she deserves the S spot. When I first looked at her I was happy to see another East Asian person in the show. But after looking at her design all I wondered was what her personality would be like, weird, mysterious, villain, or genius which is good because it gets me into speculating what she really is like. I also hear that one character will have a prosthetic, and I actually think it might be her. All I'm saying is that I love MK and the mysterious vibes I get from her. I think she will be like Scarlet where her true identity gets revealed very late in the game. Going from the most interesting person to the most boring character, we have Damien. I literally have no opinion on him, his design is very cool though. Even though it is basic I do like his vibe, he feels like the guy who calls everyone dude the whole time. I do not think he will last very long because I don't see any other guy bonding with him enough to make it far into the story. There is not much to say about him, he is not bad nor good, just there. Last but not least is the scary girl that ain't scary. She is a very unique character I will say. She will either be weird in a fun way like scaring people and doing pranks, or she will be completely crazy like trying to kill everyone, etc. so I have no idea what to think about her yet. I hope we get a backstory for why she is scary girl to complete her storyline. Her design is good, however, she doesn't look very scary in my opinion. I do like her being so pale and the combination of the dark purple with the magenta accents in her hair and socks. So here it is, my tier list of the new cast before the show airs, so it can still change in the future. Let's summarize my list. Oop not me almost putting all the men in the bottom, bye.